Good morning students. How are you all? I hope everyone is fine going through all the classes. Yes? Okay. Now I think all of you have gone through the previous English classes. Yes or no? Okay. Now today's topic is one word substitution. Okay? And what is a one word substitution? I'll tell you. If we replace a group of words with one word it is known as one word substitution i'll repeat once again if we replace one word with a group of words it is known as one word substitution see i'll write here if we replace one word with a group of words understood see we are replacing one word with group of words so instead of using too many words we will replace the whole group of words mean whole sentence with one word that is one word substitution i think you have understood and here what is replacing replacing is nothing but substitution understood we are replacing that is we are substituting a group of words with one word that is one word substitution i think all of you have understood the concept of one word substitution now i'll tell you one example what is passion passion is nothing but hobby hmm? see this is one word now a group of words for this is a very strong feeling for something so i think you have understood it is a very strong feeling for something passion or hobby is a very strong feeling for something so see here a very strong feeling for something here we have more than five words so these five words we are replacing with one word that is passion or we can also replace these words with hobby i think you have understood the concept of one word substitution yes or no it is replacing a group of words with one word okay now we'll go through the exercise which is there in your notes book okay see you can find the exercise here it's time to be a word detective so here you have given a yellow color box with some words i'll read those words listen whispering tiptoed corridor opposite snuggled aim scare so now all these words are used in sentences i mean the full words are used in sentences and you have to replace the word in the words in those sentences with the words given in the yellow color box so i'll read the first sentence for you when ram reached the school he saw a crowd of people gathered and speaking very quietly to each other now here speaking very quietly speaking very quietly what is speaking very quietly i explain you this in your new words also see speaking very quietly is nothing but whispering okay now the next word can you tell me two things that frighten you what is frighten this also you have it in your new words scare you can replace frighten with scare Now, Somia narrated a story as she led Rahul along a narrow passage in the building. Narrow passage. See, narrow passage. It is there in the story. Maya and her brother went through the narrow passage. Do you remember? Do you remember the story? They go through a corridor. Know in the story. corridor is nothing but a narrow passage 
Now the next one. I thought Rhea had kicked Maya, but it was the other way around. What is the other way around? See this also you have it in your meanings. You have uh, gone through this word, this group of words in your story. The other way around is nothing but opposite. Okay. Now the next one. The boy drew the arrow and directed it at the target. What is director? It is A. Note down all these in your book. Okay. See, speaking very quietly. Instead of uh, writing this, you can write whispering. Frighten, scare, narrow passage, it's corridor. The other way around, opposite. Directed is A. Now, we'll go through the rest of the sentences with the red colored words, okay? See, Shama was hungry, so she walked quietly on her toes to the kitchen to eat something. This is your favorite thing. Walked quietly on her toes. What is it? This also you have it in your story. You also do this in your home. Yes? Tiptoed. Now, it was so cold that she pulled her quilt and moved into a warm and comfortable position in her bed. Moved into a Comfortable position. What is it? Maya has done this now in the story. Do you remember? It is nothing but snuggle. Yes? Understood everyone? See, walked quietly on her toes. Tiptoed. See here, one, two, three, four, five. You have five words here. So, instead of using these five words, you can simply use tiptoe. That is one word substitution. We are substituting these five words, these five group of words with one word that is tiptoe. Understood everyone? Okay. So, note down this also. Move into a warm and comfortable position is nothing but snuggle. Okay. Now, I'll give you an assignment. Okay. See here it is my turn to read the sentence in column A. Find the corresponding word in column B. Match them. Okay. One has been done for you. See here you have I live with my mother and father. This is done for you. And who are mother and father? See mother and father. Three words. Instead of using mother and father we can use one word that is I live with my parents. Okay. So now you also have here four more sentences. My father will come back on Saturday. Here come back is highlighted. The people who live next door are very nice. People who live next door is highlighted. I heard a loud sharp cry at night. Here loud sharp cry is highlighted in red color. And the next word is my grandfather left for his walk without making any noise. So here without making any noise is there in red color highlighted in red color so for all these four sentences here you have written scream quietly neighbors so these are the one words we one word substitution for the sentences i mean the words which are highlighted in the red color in the column a so you have to choose the correct word and you can simply match them you can put a line okay understood everyone I hope you will do this assignment perfectly. Yes or no? You just have four sentences with four group of words. And for that you have and choice also. Okay? You have four one words given. Okay? So that is very easy. You just do this assignment. Okay students? So this is all for today. Thank you so much.